Hey guys, um, yeah, so we just got finished with our workout. <laughs> our first day, um, it was painful. Um, we are going through a program. Um, I've had this program for years, like probably since I was, right when we were dating actually. Yeah. And I was starting to work out and getting ready for my second summer at camp. Uh, we're going through a program called Rush Fit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Dude. Rush Fit. Uh, if you guys watch any MMA or any of that kind of stuff, mixed martial arts, it's George St. Pierre and Eric Owings. Um, not o it's not Owings. It's not Owings. It's Owings. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> but um, he has a whole. It's it's like it's very similar to P90X, but it's a little more technical in a sense. So he actually technically like in P90X, it's more of like. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you know, it's, it, he's, he's very personal and that kind of thing. But here going is kind of more technical in the sense of he's going to teach you this is the way you, we want to do it. I'll give you some other alternatives if you're weak in it. I'll give you some better alternatives if you're strong in it. That kind of thing. So he kind of explains the technical work. And then George St. Pierre adds his little humor into there, which is kind of nice. So that kind of livens it up a little bit, which is kind of cool. He makes you not feel like an idiot for not being able to do everything. <laughs> You might have to speak up, by the way. Just let me know. Okay. Because that might, that might. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I need to get a better mic for it. Anyway, that's my fault. Um, but yeah, that was a good workout. I, I haven't gotten a shower yet, so I've, I just, I just need to like process all that. Man, that was, that was intense. Um, so yeah, it was a good workout. Um, like I said earlier, I weighed three twenty one this morning. Did you weigh yourself? Okay. I weigh around 120, 145. So she weighs 145. Okay. So I, uh, I'll see what I weigh tomorrow. That's not, I mean, I'm not going to say instant result. Ooh, I'm going to lose 100 pounds in one day. No. That's not how that's going to work. Uh, and just because it's called Rush Fit, it's not getting rushed to fit. Um, but it's an eight-week program, um, and we're just going to attune it to our lifestyle. And, um, yeah. Um, but we want to talk about what we're kind of doing diet-wise. Number one, I want to cut soda. Soda is like one of the evilest things ever. I love it though. Um, but I want to try to find some alternatives to that, um, more healthier. I like the fizz. That's that's really the, the, the problem with me. Um, not necessarily the sugar and flavor. It's it's the fizz. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't like soda waters. Um, we could. I actually like it that way. I actually do. I do like that. But um, those are some alternatives for you guys out there. If you like soda, and it's because of the fizz factor. <laughs> Not just protein, also like uh, the biggest craze in, this, in the uh, Silicon Valley right now is like he, he's a keto diet. And actually, our director and his wife are doing the keto diet right now. Um, I'm not necessarily all for it because I love rice. So <laughs> keto diet frowns upon rice. I would only be able to have like this much if because I think the keto diet restricts you to like maybe 50 carbs a day or 20, actually it's 20 carbs. A day. That's really low. And uh, yeah. And, you literally stay from all fruits, all sugars, like all carbs. A quarter cup of white rice is, I think, 15 carbs. She would know. She would yeah, know. I was, I was diabetic. She was diabetic pregnant. when she was pregnant, so. so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we kind of want to modify our own, just watch our eating habits, really. It's not necessarily a diet in a sense, um, unless we decide we want to be radical about it. But we want to cut something that, like, I had a lot of sugar today, which I probably shouldn't have. And that actually helps with the lighting. Sorry if the change of lighting there, guys. Um, that was from the, our little... Our arrow garden. Arrow garden. Growing cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. Yummy. Cilantro is really good for you. I don't know what's in it, but anyway, <laughs> it it's just really good. It tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> Some people think it tastes like toothpaste. Really? Or what is it? What does it taste like? I don't remember. I think it smells like skunk. 
Just because it's so strong, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Anyways. <laughs> um, but it was a good workout, and that's kind of our goal and plan for that, as we want to kind of just watch what we're eating, especially soda, cut soda out of our diet. Um, people have cut soda out of their diet, and they've lost like 20 pounds just from doing that. Yeah. Which is really cool. Um, sugars, like candy is another one of my weaknesses, and I don't plan on getting any supplements for it either, like my mom takes uh, Colmium, Colmonate, whatever that she calls it. Um, but I'll tell you what, my mom... And my wife knows, my, Sarah knows this, is that uh, she lost like 75 to 100 pounds. Um, and I, I kind of had that spur from her to do that. But for me, I'm just like, you know, I've, I've been going on this roller coaster ride over and over again. Like one year, I actually looked at it on my app today that I re-downloaded and logged in. It's been since last May since I weighed myself. And then I had a big break between there and then too. I was just like, what in the world am I doing? Like, I just keep on going on this roller coaster with my weight. It's so hard to get motivated. Yeah. It really is. And that's why we need you guys. We need you guys to watch our videos and keep an eye on us. And if this is inspiring you, you can do this with us because I want to, number one, lose some weight. Number two, this is called the lifestyle couch, remember? This isn't just losing weight. This is also getting out of debt. And so we want to kind of move into that segment a little bit and, and talk about our debt. Um, and that is in cases, two credit cards, um, some hospital bills. Um, what else? My student loans, which is about $10,000 worth of student loans. And then our, I actually owe $3,000 to a school that I attended which I just keep on paying them and they don't bother me and they don't send it to a collective agency. But we wanna talk about first the student loan epidemic a little bit. Um, I personally, um, and it doesn't work for every situation. We are actually gonna treat our student loans like our, okay, first off, <laughs> I'm backtrack here. Um, we, I don't know if you guys have heard of Dave Ramsey. He's a great financial guru. If you go type in him into Google, you'll find his whole website and he has tons of material. Um, I read his book back when I first started dating and it changed my life. Um, and I taught FPU once and still not out of debt yet. I'm still working on that. But we finally came to terms that um, ever since we had the baby, we were just like, we really want to get out of debt before we have our second kid. So like, we're, we're doing it. So I literally decided to quit my business because that really was just putting me behind anyways. Um, I wasn't so focused on killing debt. And then on top of that, I started just selling stuff in the house, crazy. And we've been just getting cash flow. Like I made about 100, 200 bucks this week just for selling stuff locally, <laughs> as you saw earlier. It's been kind of crazy. Um, and so Dave Ramsey has like a bunch of baby steps you go through. And the first baby step is to save up $1,000 for an emergency fund. We actually are on baby step one in a sense, but technically we are baby step one and a half. I would say, like, we're getting our emergency fund in a few days here to a thousand dollars right away. Actually, we have half of it in our bank account right now, which is awesome. We haven't been that secure in a while. So this is kind of a new journey for us. Beginning, finally, we're not hitting brick wall. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> sorry about the close in too. Um, we actually might just do this. <laughs> so, what, what we were saying about Dave Ramsey's baby steps is. Um, Number one is to save up a thousand dollars, and we we are almost there. Uh, we'll be there by in just a few days, actually, when we get our checks. Um, especially our tax returns are coming in um, tomorrow. We'll be paid by the federal government, which is nice. Um, full disclosure: like we got like nine hundred dollars this this year back from state and federal. We probably could have gotten a little more, but um, I went through TurboTax, and, and I should have went through a CPA probably, but. Um, we did pretty good, um, actually, yeah. considering with Miriam and stuff. Um, so baby step one is that, and then baby step two is um, pay off your debts from smallest to largest. Um, some people do it the in the highest interest rate to the lowest. So this is how we kind of had it set up. So I'm gonna show you this. Give me a second here. Yep. Maybe uh, Sarah can hold on to this. Oh, you can show your face still. <laughs> okay, so. As you can see there, there's our debts. Um, 
right here is our Chase, which is $713.88. Amazon, $737.48. Now, to talk about this one a little bit, um, don't be stupid like me, okay? I warn you husbands out there, don't be stupid like me. I went behind this little young lady's back and spent $737 because I'm a free spirit. Oh, exactly, right? <laughs> and that was stupid. That was really stupid. Um, buying stupid things. Not not stupid, stupid things. Just video games. And... Yeah, it was dumb, okay? It was dumb. Don't do it. Don't, don't use credit cards, okay? Anyways. So as soon as this is paid off, which will be paid off next month, actually. Which is awesome. Boom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I'm getting in there. Okay. And then Amazon, um, we've just been... That was more of just like, we need to make bigger purchases, like a vacuum, and I did get my gaming chair from that, but you know, like... We, just, did, we did agree on that. We did agree on that one, though. We talked about that one, which was good. Um, my gaming chair was nice. I, I'm, a, I'm a gamer. and hard, too. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Hospitals, $406.11. OBGYN is $1,070. And ABC, I owe about almost $3,000. I think it's lower than that, actually, which is nice, but don't know the exact number. Um, and then student loans down below. I'm not even showing this, aren't I? <laughs> Student loans is like $10,000. Um, so, talking about that is the reason why I did Chase and this first is because they have interest rates. These three, they don't have any interest rates. So I'm not too worried about them because I can just pay them minimums and then be done. So next month, we're on track to pay this whole one off, which is only in a few days, which is awesome. And then we can use all the money that we put towards that, towards this, the next month after that, which is in April. This will be paid off in April. Actually, half of this will be paid next month. Then the hospital will also be paid next the, in April as well. And then OBJYN will be paid off by June. And then ABC will be paid off by October or November. Now, you can put that away. The reason why we decided to do it that way and, you, and you'll notice that we don't have our student loans in there, our $10,000 in student loans, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but we're going to be debt free by November, technically, quote unquote. Um, it doesn't work in everyone's situation, but I signed us up for an income based driven plan. Now, Sarah and I only make like thirteen dollars to $16,000 a year because I work for a nonprofit and we love it. We love our job. And that's, but we have a house we live in that's fully paid. You know, we don't pay rent on it or anything, which is nice. Um, and what else? Uh, most of our food is paid. Most for. of our food is paid for. So I mean, we work at a camp, so it's just the way it works. So um, yeah. Um, so I don't have batteries on this. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, we didn't want to pay off our, our debt that way. Like, um, so we, we, <sighs> blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm confused. Give me a second. Let me train my thoughts here. So we wanted, we got, we got, uh, qualified for our income driven plan, which I was on a normal plan. I was only paying 152, 62 a month. It's not bad, but it'd be nice to take that money and move it somewhere else for a little while. So we got accepted to the income driven plan and since we are only making very little every year, we actually qualified for zero dollar monthly payments, which is pretty awesome. It's not for everyone, don't get me wrong, um, Dave Ramsey actually frowns upon income driven plans actually, but in our situation it works because of our income. Um, and so we actually... Since our, since our student loans are actually more than our income every month, in a sense, like it's above our income, Dave Ramsey actually suggests that you put it at baby step six as long as you don't have a mortgage or anything. And that's what we decided to do. We decided to put our student loans at baby step six, which we'll talk about that in a later session, baby step six. Um, baby step six is initially pay off the house in a sense. That's the basic premise. And we will get to that point very soon. And then baby step three, um, is save up three to six months of expenses into your emergency fund, which I want to tweak that a little bit and I want to do 12 months, but we kind of want to kind of back and forth a little bit, but we're doing six months, we're doing about five months, we think, because we have a lot of connections with people and we feel like, 
you know, if anything happened, like, we lose a job, or I don't think we'd ever lose a job here, but, you know, like, just things, like, we'd, we'd have enough time to find another job, which is good, God will provide, <laughs> really, honestly, um, so yeah, that's kind of our journey so far, um, and just sharing what our plan is, but technically, we'll be de- debt-free by November, technically, I mean, we don't have the quote-unquote house paid off it's not the house but it's our student loans um and that was our plan and i felt like that was a great plan and i'm excited to be debt free um at least away from the other debts especially my school um owing them three thousand dollars still it's quite a lot of money and i've been out of school for five years now six years and i have not paid hardly anything on that and i'm like i paid like 25 dollars a month in the beginning i paid 50 dollars a month that's it like it was awful but we were determined. We're determined now that we're we're getting them paid for, and yeah. So, but it's kind of us, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Lifestyle Couch with Nate and Sarah, because we do our videos on the couch and everywhere else. <laughs> you know why not? Uh, but we'll see you guys later. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get freshened up because we are tired, and uh, I need to edit this video real quick and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.